Now in this lecture we're going to discuss optical activity of chiral molecules. So let's begin by giving some background information about light. So light is electromagnetic radiation composed of many photons and a single photon can be expressed using alternating regions of electric fields and magnetic fields. Now these electric and magnetic fields are perpendicular to one another and are also perpendicular to the direction of our photon. So here's an example of a single photon. So let's suppose our photon is traveling along the x direction in this direction. Here's our y direction and our z direction is coming out of the board. Now the blue regions are the positive and negative alternating regions of the electric fields. The green regions are positive and negative alternating regions of magnetic field. Now, this magnetic field is along the xz direction. This electric field is along the xy direction. So notice they're both perpendicular to one another. Now to simplify things, we're only going to express the electric fields in this lecture. So we're not going to draw out our magnetic fields. Now, a single light source releases many different types of photons whose fields are oriented in different directions. Now, a polarizer device, such as the one shown here, screens out all photons but those oriented in the same direction. Now this type of light, this screened out type of light, is known as plain polarized light. So here we have an example. So let's suppose we have some light source and that light source releases our rays of light, our electromagnetic radiation, our photons. And that's shown here. Now all these photons have fields oriented in different directions. What this polarized device does is it polarizes the light screens out all different types of directions of fields and only leaves the ones that point in this direction. Let's say it's along the X, Y axis. So once light comes through our device, only electromagnetic radiation pointing in one direction exists along the X, Y direction. Now, optical activity is the ability to rotate plane polarized light. Now, there are certain molecules or compounds that exist that when you shine light on those molecules, those molecules reflect the light and rotate that light. And in fact, chiral molecules are optically active and that means that they rotate plane polarized light. So if you take this type of polar polarized light and you shine it on a chiral molecule, that molecule will rotate that light a certain amount of degrees. Now, one important difference exists. So let's suppose we have the following important chiral molecule. And this chiral molecule has a mirror image, right? Because if it's chiral, that means there exists a second enantiomer. That is the mirror image shown here. Now, what do we mean by optically active? So, if we take this plain polarized light and we shine this light on our molecule, this molecule will rotate that light a certain amount of degrees. And let's say this enantiomer, for instance, rotates our light clockwise. So, if we're looking at our molecule at the incoming light, when the light comes through the molecule, the molecule will rotate it clockwise. And if it rotates it clockwise, we call it dextrorotatory. And we give it a positive sign. So positive means dextrorotatory. That means the light is rotated clockwise as we're looking at the light as it's coming in. Now, the enantiomer of this compound will rotate the light the same amount of degrees but in the opposite direction. It will rotate it in the counterclockwise direction. So, for this enantiomer, as we're looking at the incoming light, the light will be rotated counterclockwise. And we call that levorotatory and we designate it with a negative sign. So once again, chiral molecules, molecules that have mirror images, 
are able to rotate plane polarized light and we call these chiral molecules optically active. So if we have one type of, of enantiomer of the chiral molecule, it's going to rotate the light in one direction. If we take the other type of enantiomer of that same chiral molecule, it will rotate light in the opposite direction, but the same amount of degrees.